Hello, welcome to DIY Tech Guy. Today I'm going to show you how to use an Arduino Uno to control a 120 volt AC circuit. This is similar to our video we did activating a solenoid using a transistor as a switch. In that project, we used the transistor to switch to 12 volt DC power since the Arduino can't handle that much voltage through its output pins. In this project, we will switch to AC high voltage using a relay. The Arduino is not capable of handling this type of power on its own. This project has many practical applications that would use this type of technique, since this could be used to switch any device using AC power. This example project uses high voltage, which if improperly implemented, could result in damage to the components, fire, serious injuries, or death. Be careful of what you are doing as I accept no responsibility for any of your actions. For this project, we're going to need the following parts. First, we're going to need a light bulb and a lamp fixture to plug that light bulb into, an extension cord, a relay module, three male to female jumper wires, and finally, an Arduino Uno. Okay, we're ready to begin our assembly. The first thing we need to do is set up our light socket here and we need to attach our AC power lines to the bottom here so that it connects to the light bulb. In order to hook up the light fixture, you're gonna need some lamp cord and a plug. I found it easier to just buy a whole uh, extension cord and cut off the pieces I don't need. It was a lot less expensive and this one cost me a little less than $2. Whereas if I bought the lamp cord and the plug separately, it would've been closer to 10 or more dollars. The first thing I need to do is to cut off the outlet side of the extension cord. So, and I don't need that, so I'll throw that away, or maybe I'll save that for another project. Next step is to splice the two wires so that we can connect them to the light fixture. Be careful uh, to get this right down the middle, otherwise you could have exposed copper, which could cause a short. I'm gonna strip the wires and leave about three quarters of an inch uh, remaining. I'm gonna twist them up so that I can attach them under the screws of this light fixture. You wanna twist these up pretty nice and tight because you don't want the uh, braid from the line to uh, reach over into a, a different area and cause a short. It doesn't matter too much for the for this piece of it because we're just attaching the light fixture and the connections are you know a few inches apart. So that shouldn't be a problem. But when we're connecting it to the relay where the places that we're connecting are, are pretty close together, we don't want to cause them to uh, cross over. From here, we just have to simply place the wire in a hook underneath each of those sides of the, of the fixture, underneath that screw head, and just screw it in nice and tight. Depending on your project and how it's powered, you may want to use solid core 14 gauge wire, which would probably be a, a better option here. It's a little easier to hook up to the relay and to the light fixture. Uh, but since this is just really a demo of how a relay works, that's why I'm going to be using the uh, extension cord. Before I move forward, I want to test and make sure that this light bulb works and that my connection uh, works as designed. So I, I, if I plug this in, this thing should just light. It's not hooked up to anything other than the cord, but I just want to make sure I haven't made any other mistakes or that there's something wrong with this cord or the way I spliced it, and or that I'm not going to short the whole thing out. And so there, it works as a normal light bulb would. It's not connected to any switches. It's just connected directly to power. Um, and that's what we want at this point. Here's a single relay module that we'll be using for this project. This is most easy to use since it doesn't require any outside power source. We only need to power the relay from the Arduino 5 volt power supply. Larger relay banks like the ones shown here are perfect for controlling multiple relays. They cannot be powered directly from the Arduino due to the large amount of current they have the potential to pull. And we need to have that VCC line attached to a separate five volt line with a greater current. Okay, here we've taken our lamp wire and we've spliced it open in the middle here so we can separate the two, uh, the two wires going to the bulb. Uh, one thing you wanna be careful of is that you don't expose any additional copper uh, on the inside. Uh, if you do, you'll have to cut that out like I have here. Um, I've got a little bit there, but I'm just gonna cut that out because I don't need that much of a length, but if you're real careful, that won't happen. I'm 
going to go ahead and splice the ends of these to about a quarter of an inch. Um, I want to keep them short enough. I don't, I don't want anything extra hanging out. So, but, so you may need to trim them back even a little shorter than that. The next thing we need to decide is how we want this relay to operate. Do we want to make it operate in a normally closed position or a normally open position? And what this really comes down to is, do you want the Arduino at its resting state for the light to be on or for it to be off? I prefer a normally open position. That way, if power is lost to the Arduino or something fails there, the light will not turn on and the current will be cut off. I prefer to have the Arduino control when the light turns on using a five volt signal rather than turning it off using the five volt signal. Sometimes these relays are labeled for us showing us where the common and the normally open and normally closed terminals are. Um, but this one is not. So we're gonna do a little test here using a continuity tester. As you can see here, when these are connected, it lights a light, which lets us know that those are connected. And we can test to see which sides are connected at a resting state and which aren't. The middle is usually common. And if I use this and connect from the middle to the left, I can see that uh, that is a normally open switch, where to the right is a normally closed switch. So in our design, we're gonna to wanna to, uh, connect this to the normally open switch. Okay, so we're gonna feed one of these wires into the common middle section of our relay. And our other one, we're gonna put onto the normally open side so that when we apply our five volts, it will close the switch and turn the light on. We just need to loosen these screws and tighten down on top of our wire. Now we wanna be careful here, uh, not to leave any strands of wire hanging out because that'll close that connection on us and light the light. Um, this won't create an electrical short, but it'll short out the switch, which will uh, just allow power to flow through. The only reason I'm using lamp wire here is because this is a very simple design just to kind of show the abilities of the Arduino when using a relay. Uh, if you're building a larger project, uh, you're probably not gonna use lamp wire, especially if it's gonna go in behind a wall. You're gonna wanna use 14 gauge Romex for that. I'm gonna do one final test with my continuity tester across these high voltage pins to make sure that uh, the Arduino is indeed in a normally off state and that I haven't shorted anything out with a, with a stray strand of copper. I'll do that using my continuity tester. And it connects on the normally closed side and it does not connect on the normally open side. And that's exactly what we want here. All right, we're ready to hook up the Arduino to the, the relay. There's only three pins here. One's a voltage, uh, positive voltage, common, and then we have our signal, which is gonna be our five volt signal that's gonna allow the electromagnet inside of the relay to fire. We'll be using Arduino for this and we'll be using a single pin on the Arduino to activate the relay. You don't need an Arduino at all for this. You could fire this off directly from a sensor that provides five volt output. Although you wouldn't have as much control that you do with the Arduino. Um, and we're gonna show you some of that type of control that, uh, uh, today. We're not just gonna turn this on and leave it on. We're gonna let it blink or do some fun stuff. We're ready to hook up our Arduino to our relay. I'm gonna hook up uh, two jumper wires, one to the five volt and then one to the ground. And these will go to the corresponding VCC and uh, ground pins of the relay. You can see in the middle, that's the five volts and on the right, that's the ground. And the final pin is a signal pin. And this is the one that we're gonna write high and send five volts to. And that will cause the, uh, the relay to, to flip and that'll turn the light on. So we're gonna put this into pin three and then stick it here into the signal pin. And this is all we need for the assembly. This is ready to go. All we need to do is upload our sketch and try it out. Okay, now that we've got the hardware set up, it's time for us to enter our code. Uh, there really isn't a lot of code here. We're not really doing a whole lot other than switching a pin uh, high and low to control this light bulb. So the first thing we need to do is set up our pin that we connected to the signal of the relay, and that's relay pin three. And we set that up as an integer. 
in the main section up here before we get to any of the loops. Then in our setup loop that only runs once, we'll go ahead and set that relay pin to an output. Now for the most simplest of code, I'm just going to start with just a writing the relay high, waiting a second, then writing it low, and then waiting another second and then repeating. You know, that's that's a that seems a little boring to me, so I'm gonna take it one more step and wait two seconds, turn it on and off, uh, and then three seconds, and then four seconds. So we're gonna see some different delays we're able to create with the Arduino. I'll also later, once we're done and we get to see how this works, we're, we're gonna change this to a much lower number and see how fast we can get this to flash, you know, without, you know, burning up the, uh, the relay. Uh, relays aren't meant for, you know, rapid succession on offs like a transistor can handle. Uh, because it is a it is a physically moving part so they do tend to wear out over time and if you did any kind of like you know strobe light type of effect uh, that would uh, that would wear out probably pretty quickly but we're going to try it anyway and just to see uh, you know how far we can push it okay well let's go ahead and um, verify it and compile the code just to make sure everything works and it looks like it's compiling and it works so it's uh Everything compiled okay. So our next step is gonna to be to transfer this onto our Arduino and try it out. I have my Arduino hooked up to my computer. I'm ready to try to upload this. Looks like it's compiling again. Uploading, lights are blinking. Uploading successful, all right. Okay, so here's our completed project. Here's our 120 volt, volt light bulb being controlled by our Arduino through a five volt signal through a relay. Uh, this is the original code that we loaded on it. And as you can see, it's just turning light on and off at the different intervals that we set up. Not very exciting. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to change those values to see how fast we can get this to, uh, to flash this light bulb. Okay, this one's going a little faster. So this one's kind of cool. You could use this for a number of different things, maybe some chaser lights on a marquee or something like that. Um, here goes one even faster. Um, now, if you used a bank of relays, you could have uh, a set of lights chasing. If you used like an eight bank, you'd have eight that were just kind of continually flashing in order to make it look like they're kind of chasing around. It's probably like what you would see like um, like on a movie theater marquee or something like that, or maybe on a game show or something. Um, but let's see if we can get go even faster. Uh, now, I wouldn't want to do this for very long, but uh, like my camera can't even pick it up. It's going so quick. It's... Uh, if you look at the little red light on the relay, you can see how fast this is actually moving. I don't think this would be very practical as the relay may burn out over time. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing or clicking the bell icon to be notified of future videos.